25K, we said we would do a big giveaway. Well, today we are gonna be giving away two pairs of Noble shoes to two lucky winners. So how you can be entered is make sure you go to my Instagram page, Christy Ermo, and Patrick's, at Patrick O'Connell, and then Ibex Training. Follow all three of those pages, and we're gonna pick two lucky winners that follow all three of the pages to receive a pair of Noble shoes. Make sure you guys smash the like button because that's what's gotten us this far is that helps us continue to grow and then we can continue doing super awesome giveaways, keep bringing you guys super fun content, do-it-yourself projects, nutrition, awesome workouts, and things like that moving forward. We literally love sharing all of this stuff with you. We love sharing our life with you and things that we've learned all along the way of our fitness journey that have helped us and we really wanna help you guys. So go to enter, make sure you check out the description, check out the bio, and you can win yourself a pair of awesome, noble trainers. So today, for today's video, now that we've talked about the giveaway, um, we're gonna show you guys how to build a plyo box for less than a quarter of the price of what it would cost you to buy one. And you don't even need a saw to build it. Patrick's gonna show you everything. <laughs> So I'm really excited about this one. We're gonna be building a plyo box and we've got a ton of requests to do this. But what we wanna, we, we've wanted to help you guys with is these to be DIY projects. And I haven't really thought that cutting, making the cuts to do this have been very DIY friendly. So the solution that we've come up with is I actually went to Home Depot, bought one piece of plywood, and I had Home Depot make all of the cuts for me. So I left with all of these pieces in hand um, and it was super easy. We're gonna put, what that looks like up in the screen right now that will show you all of the measurements in a diagram of what that looks like on the plywood. Um, it's super easy. Home Depot will make two cuts for free and then 50 cents each cut after that. So couldn't be any easier and now all I've gotta do is assemble my box. All right, so outside of my plywood, the only other piece of material that I need is a box of screws. And what I've got here is these are inch and five eighths deck screws. They've got a star head so they're a little bit easier to uh, screw in and they don't strip as much. But I've got one box of those. I've got two pieces of plywood that are 30 inches by 24 inches. I've got two pieces that are 18 and a half by 24 inches. I have two pieces that are 28 and a half by 18 and a half. And I have one piece that's 18 and a half by 22 and a half, which is actually gonna be my inside support. I'm also really happy about this, that the cuts were all made at Home Depot because that means there's no sawdust. Patrick's always doing lots of do-it-yourself projects and the end result is awesome, but sometimes the sawdust, I don't really love it. This is my least favorite part. So no sawdust, no mess, super simple, a drill, some screws, and a couple pieces of plywood and we're gonna have ourselves two boxes so we can start to do some more fun home stuff together. All right, so right now I'm gonna start screwing the outside four pieces of my box together. And the most important part of this, especially because it's plywood, is actually pre-drilling a hole. So I have an eighth inch drill bit that before I put a screw in, I'm gonna pre-drill a hole that makes the screw go in nice and easy and won't split the plywood for us. All right, so the first two pieces that we're putting together are gonna to be our 30 by 24 flush with our 18 and a half by 24. And we're gonna do both sides. So it's gonna be 30 by 24, 18 and a half by 24, 30 by 24, 18 and a half, 20 by 24. So then we have the outer shell of our plyo box. So now we're gonna put the other side on. So our two short pieces, our 18 and a half by 24, are going right inside of our 30 by 24s. So you can see he's doing that here so that fits perfectly inside. And then we just make sure all the corners are flush with each other. So you don't want any corners sticking out. So it's super important, I think, to drill that pre-hole first because like he said, it is plywood and you don't wanna split the wood by just screwing straight into the plywood. So creating that little bit of a hole allows for the screw to sit nicely and then you can screw it right in without actually splitting your plywood. So once you have the shell of the box done, so you can see we have the hollow shell of our box, we're gonna take our 28 and a half by 18 and a half and it's gonna sit nice and snug on each side, but we're only gonna do with the one side first because then we have to put in the middle support, which is ultimately the most important piece to the plyo box that there is. So what Pat's gonna do is he's just gonna slide the 28 and a half by 18 and a half 
in so it fits nice and snug and then we're going to screw that into place and then we're going to add our internal support for our plyo box all right so we've got almost all of our sides we've got one side left but before we put that on the most important piece of this box is actually our middle support so if we look at our box here this piece is actually supporting our box if we're jumping on it this way the other way when you flip it up we actually don't have that same support so what we're doing is we're creating it by putting a brace on the inside of our box to help stabilize and keep any of the screws from carrying the load when we're actually jumping on it it is super important you guys don't skip this step so if you notice we have our three vertical supports supporting our two end pieces right so on the outside these are supporting but if we skip the middle there's nothing supporting if we jumped right in the middle of the box we added a support there so it's essentially three pieces with two pieces on the side do not skip the center support it's so so important or you might fall through your box all right so we really wanted to make this as diy friendly as possible and that meaning that all you really needed was a screw and something to kind of drill some holes with um, what we're going to do because we can is we're going to drill some holes in the side for handles. There's a bunch of different ways you could do that. You could use a hole saw, you could use a jigsaw to actually cut that template. Um, I have one of these cabinet grade drill bits, so I'm going to drill three holes next to each other and then I'm going to sand the out outside edges of that to make it smooth for a handle. Also, I think it's important that you touch on the edges of this are going to be a little bit sharper than if you, say, bought your box from Rogue because they sand those down. So we are going to use a router to go over the edges just to make sure they're not sharp, just in case we do miss the box. If we have tired legs, you could also use sandpaper and just kind of sand them down so it takes the edge away. And that's just to protect your shins just in case. Um, you definitely don't have to do that, but I would highly recommend it. All right. So this isn't necessary to actually use this, but I have one, so I'm going to. I've got a router, which is basically going to make a nice round edge across all of our corners here because we've all hit a box jump with our shins and I want to make that as gentle as I can so we don't get cut. If you don't have one of these, I would recommend at least taking some sandpaper and just smoothing off these edges so they're not so sharp. Um, that way, if you do end up catching a shin or anything, it just softens that blow a little bit. And with that, we have ourselves a plyo box. It's pretty exciting. Um, the corners we did smooth out. We made sure to put the stability and you didn't really need a saw. All this extra mess that I made a joke about, no sawdust, wasn't required. So you didn't have to put the handles on the box if you didn't want to, but we'll probably take this one back to CrossFit Players or who knows, we'll keep it at the house. I'm not sure. Um, but now we can just kind of lug it around, take it wherever with us and it'll be easy to carry. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Uh, we love the do-it-yourself stuff. It's probably our favorite thing. Yeah, I was really excited about this, mostly because you guys don't have to have a saw and there's a workaround for that. And I love those type things. And it makes this very DIY friendly. And don't forget, we are doing our giveaway. We're giving away two pairs of Noble trainers. They're awesome, awesome shoes. To be entered, all the details are in our description. Follow me, follow Patrick, follow Ibex Training, and then we'll pick one of our winners. If you guys smash the like button, then we will continue to do giveaways the rest of the week. Since we hit 25,000 subscribers, we cannot thank you guys enough for following along on our journey. We are having so much fun sharing all of this stuff with you. And I just, we just can't wait to share more of it. So make sure to smash the like button and follow us and have a great day.